Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So we got a system from the user Archie Doherty in Discord so massive thank you to them for sending this system in. And their system is called the Melm Binary System so without further ado let's get into this. It's on the workshop already Roxy Rock and Roll there we go and let's see what we have got here. Whoa fancy background right okay oh where are we let's get that on and off. There we go. Right. So, hello. Ooh. Star itself. Cool. Again, my system's crashed twice. Spent two days. Two days. The system contains two binary stars. So we got a Br Britia and Meln, which is that star over there. So we go. So we got one there, and then the second one is somewhere. Where was it? Where? Oh, there he is. Okay. Cool. So first up, uh, Meln is the ancient. Is an ancient sound that turned red due to it being a red giant. The meaning of Melm is yellow in Welsh, um, and it's red. Yeah, okay, right. Uh, Britia is a blue star named after the after Great Britain. Yes, they colonized this system. You can't escape us. Okay, so he's really... <laughs> right. Okay, cool. So where are we heading first? Uh, what? What? Where, where's? So we need to find what's twelve B. So is that around this star? Is it? There it is. Okay. Oh, God, I hope these are in order, otherwise we're going to be here a long while. So, what's 12B? Here it is. Obviously known as a very large gas giant. Here it is. Cool. So, the very first planet of the system. It was formed from the same stuff as the star. Um, it's very cold, and some class it as an ice giant. Others don't. It, um, it's called Wasp. Because of the colours due to the redness of the star, it reflects onto Wasp 12B, so it looks red and black. Okay. There you go. Okay, next up we've got Omega, which is here. Oh, wow. Um, is a dream matter to some people. Do not judge a planet on how it looks. Only because it looks gloomy, it really is not. It is your ideal utopia. Very peaceful and is inhabited by the Drake people. Omega is 0 0.955 size of Earth, slightly smaller than Earth. Okay, cool. There it is there. Next up we've got Alpha, which is this one. Exact opposite of a mega. Oh, wow. That looks pretty exotic, doesn't it? It's got a moon ridiculously close as well, which will probably get torn up by Ruslim if we press play. So, um, and due to this planet is toxic. Poisonous this planet. People can live there, but they need a special suit. One day on the, um, Earth is three days for Alpha, and the way, and it's way smaller than a mega on Earth. The average temperature is 21 degrees Celsius. Then we've got Ibers Sia, which I'm guessing is the moon. Earth-like moon. It orbits Alpha... And is 0.0251 the mass of Earth. The water is green like in Alphas and has a permanent population. And it's better to live on uh, and it's better to live on Alpha. The temperature is at 24.5 degrees. Okie dokie. So there it is there. Next up we've got Exodus. Where's that? Good question. Where is that? Exodus? Where, where's that? Yeah. It doesn't exist. That's definitely spelt correct. E X O D U S. It doesn't exist. It's so hot that even the system it's the system's Venus. It's definitely not there, is it? Exodus. No. I'm guessing it's been destroyed by maybe it was so hot it got destroyed by the star. It was so hot that the system's Venus. The molten lava is the only thing within itself. Life's impossible on this planet due to the deadly heat and lava. It has no moons. So let's just say it um, dissolved, I guess. I don't know. It's not there. Um, next up, we got uh, Kilo, which is here. Okay. Giant gas planet, slightly bigger than Moss B. It's moon uh, sin sinutive. It's the only ocean moon, and due to this... Um, it has life only, uh, only has sea life. It is 30 times bigger than Earth and has an average temperature of 12 degrees, or 10 degrees. Its orbit is irregular, so like Mercury's orbit, closer to the star, further from the star. Okay. Closer to the star, then further from the star. Oh, yeah, yeah, got you. Okay. So that's the, that's the thing here. Okay. It's losing material as well. There he is. Sea light moon. Um, they have life, but either live underwater or on ice caps, which is north and south. The below freezing temperature. All right, okay. Um, this one didn't have the irregular orbit though. That's a pretty much perfect circular orbit there. So I'm not sure what that's uh, particularly saying. I mean, if it's going to have a bouncy orbit, it should be going in and out of them all completely. Um, 
I was reading the right one, yeah. Kilo B, is that is that the right one I'm reading? Or is it... Because there's two kilos. Oh, that's so confusing now. Now, that definitely is... The, we were definitely reading the correct one there. Kilo B, okay. Uh, next up, we got uh, Palo... Q, which is this one. Power Q. So I think I said that one right, actually. There's a marine underwater planet. They have ancient crystals called uh, Lyrich. They are used to make ancient weapons such as form of light saves. Uh, the planet has orange light land due to it being one of my favourite planets. Okay, so he likes the colour orange. Uh, there it is. You can see the land just briefly there. It's not much of it, but there we go. Next up, we have got... Saiton. So where's that? Uh, where is that? Saiton. See why... There he is. It's all the way at the other star. Oh, yeah, so one thing with this is... Please try and keep your descriptions in order, because... Otherwise, I do have to search, and it does make it a little... Uh, little pesky to get around. Uh, next up, we've got Saiton. So a city planet. It's around the other star this time. It's a bit like Coruscant, the stars. And most of the water is underground. The city of... Um, the centre of the Empire is Zygron, which rules most of the galaxy. Saiton is 0 0.2 the size of Earth and has an average temperature of 17.1. Okay. So next up, we're... So now we're around the other star. So we've got Kilo 15B here. Very... It's a rainbow gas giant. Um, it's a modern day version of Kilo. There's two because Kilo 6B was thought of gone extinct. It really was not. It is the exact same size as Kilo 6B, but it has different colours and often called the Rainbow Planet, as you can see from the other planets at night time. So there you go, that's pretty cool. Uh, Frighten, where's that? Frighten. Thank God this thing has a search. Uh, doesn't exist. There is no object called Frighton. What? This is really strange. Um, next up, we got this one. Nayu Stack is home to the Prussians, which is about a hundred people who that were born in Prussia, and they decided to settle the colony there and work with the aliens that live here. It has a yellow it has yellow bouncy water, which is due to a very high amount of helium. It is 1.5 times bigger than Earth. All right, okay. Uh, next up, we got uh, Rivan 12, which is here. Such a bizarre order of going through everyone. I've never seen one like this. Um, there it is. It's a beautiful planet with a yellow atmosphere. It's about 1.7 times the mass of Earth. It has a below, has an average temperature of 19.6, and the blue ocean is way more beautiful than Earth. It has three moons rather than one. One year is 4.95 months, and a day on Earth... Uh, and a day on Earth is 0 0.52 days on Levan 12. Next up, we've got Ubanash. So, where's that? Is that, um, is that the moon? Um, no. You, oh, yeah, no, it is, it is the moon. Okay. Largest moon. Average temperature 22.3 degrees. Then we've got Fittiness here. Second biggest moon with a mass of 0 0.002 the moon. It's also smaller than an asteroid moon. So, a pretty small little thing. It's very close to the parent as well. There you go. So, next up, we've got Salibi. Uh, that's one of the most common uh, generated names. Where is it? It's a little asteroid or something. Uh. Oh, this is another asteroid moon. The smallest of the moons. It's the last. Three moons help it stay stable. It's so small that you have to measure it in Earth's atmosphere, which is 0 0.00018 kilometers. You can't see it from anywhere, as it's so far away. I mean, you should be able to... I mean, maybe not with a telescope. Well, you, with a telescope, you'd be able to see him, but not with the naked eye, probably. Okay, next up, we have got... This one. Oh, this looks nice. Huge gas giant. It's five times size of Jupiter and has rings similar to Saturn's. It has two moons that give me chills, <laughs> as I think they're going to crash into the rings. Where are the moons? Are they miles away? Okay. The moon. Their moons are actually planets um, that one has life and see the other one doesn't. They orbit. Its gravity is so strong. Update. The two planets collided with its host and there's more rings to it. Right. Okay. Looks like we've got no man. Doesn't exist again. This is really strange. Is there some issue with the saving? I, I've never seen this. It's just objects, that, descriptions of stuff that isn't here. <laughs> That's really weird. Um, okay, moving on. Uh, next up, we've got BD. 
You may think Aliens name this well, yes they did. The colourful, vibrant colours are from all different types of gases. It's 18 times the size of Jupiter and it's often called a fell brand dwarf. But the planet should not be shamed as it protects most of the system from asteroids and meteors. Okay. Got a lot of uh, things in here. The moons. It's bigger than every rocky planet. Uh, people are surprised that um, it's a moon that has life and sea. It is a shocking 2.65 times the mass of Earth, but if unfortunately if it's orbiting another object, then it's not a planet. Uh, next up, we've got Khan. The second biggest moon, it is also the second biggest. Second moon of BBD, second biggest. Um, it could support life. Its atmosphere is too thick. Average temperature is 30. So its atmosphere is too thick. Then we've got Isit, an icy moon, and its uh, very smallest life can't happen as it's very cold. Average of uh, <laughs> the average temperature is six point seven six degrees. So that's more than enough for certain life. Those moons are very close. <laughs> they they would definitely have some ejections eventually. Um, next up, we have got Curio, which is over here. It's tidy locked desert icy planet. Um, it's 2.4 times of Earth, and the average temperature is 2 degrees. There are 257 days in the year on this planet. It has two moons. So we've got Barren Wasteland Moon here. And we've got Mole, which is just an asteroid. Then lastly, we've got uh, this one on the descriptions. So here it is. Around the other star again. This is such a weird way of navigating. Right, here we go. He says it spins really weird. No, no, it's wrong with this. It spins everywhere and the atmosphere only covers the southern side. I think it's fine on my screen. Maybe his game is like proper bugged. I am not sure, but there's stuff missing. It's in, that's really weird. So that's everything. But I'm sure we did. We I just want to check we did all of these. We did Omega. We did Alpha. We did this one, didn't we? Yeah, we did that. Did that one. Satellite. There was no mention of that. Doesn't even let me click on it. Oh, there it does. There we go. So we've got a little satellite in here, chilling. It's a little bit, isn't it? So there it is. A little bouncy when you zoom in on those things. Okay. Kilo, we did that. We did Wasp. There's a James Webb. Okay. So it's got all of the probes. Then that's around the original start. Okay, we, we did do everyone then. Um, River in 12. We did that one. Curio, Kilo 15B. Cyton, Curio. Ias Turlat. Did we do that one? I'm not sure if we did that one. It's in the description, but there it is. Cool. Okay. Did that one. Did that one as well. Okay, so it's everyone. Okay. So going back and forth, you lose track of where you are. Um, okay, zooming out. I did see there was... Aha! Southern Neptune guy. Good, cool. Can I click on it? What is it? Is it a Neptune? Oh, it is a Neptune. Hey. It's a... Uh, there you go. Hey. So it's just chilling on the edge of the system. So, very cool. Any other secrets? Uh, looks to be everyone. Okay, there we are. So that does it for this system. So, just line them all up. There you go. Looking good. So, again, a massive thank you to the creator of the system, Archie Duherty, for sending in the system. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, and if you guys enjoyed it as well, as this planet says, subscribe to Neptunian Guy on YouTube. And also see if we can go for 200 likes on today's video as well, guys. Of that all said and done, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.